Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Businesses are booming at assholeconsultant.com and if you want to be part of this online internet sensation that doesn't make no fucking sense, actually it makes a lot of sense. It's amazing how hungry people are for truth and blunt direct kick, in you, kick you in your ass advice. If you want that, go to assholeconsulting.com. If you want lies, ass kissing, and cock sucking, go talk to your teachers, your guidance counselors, pull Oprah out of retirement, and go listen to your local politician. <coughs> Dear asshole, three years ago I graduated with a double major in history and physics. As a naive freshman, I pursued the shallow advice of my peers by chasing my history hobby career be damned. Sophomore year came in uh, the realization that I wanted a more challenging education with better job prospects. Physics piqued my interest in high school and I can now say that it has become my main field of interest. I currently teach numerous sections of high school science, but I can only tolerate how feverently the American education system disembowels students, colleagues, and administrators of personal responsibility. I'm a moderate to left-leaning libertarian. What is a left-leaning libertarian? It abandons the left-right lib spectrum. You're a libertarian. You are 100% for social and economic freedoms. That's it. There's no left-leaning. If, 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 if you want maximum social freedom, uh, but then you want maximum taxation to guarantee, you're called a leftist. That's what it is. My entire school is consumed with the liberal mentality of perpetual victimhood. In fact, I was recently reprimanded for recommending my, to my students that they at least minor in STEM. Uh, my principal claimed that such a speech was demotivating to creative students. Yeah, because your principal teaches to the lowest common denominator. And now I want to go back to school and get my master's in a field related to applied physics or mathematics. I'm single with no children. I want to start building a comfortable existence before... I turned the big 3-0. What fields do you suggest, and what, in your opinion, what is your opinion about the alarming rate at which STEM educators are leaving for the private sector? Thanks, a taxpayer parasite. All right, well, let's go through <clears throat> um, your questions one by one. What fields do I suggest? Anything that pays, and anything you can study, and anything you can do that while you hold on to your daytime job. Um, that's what I recommend. It, and then from there, it's up to you. I mean. I can't tell, here's, it's kind of a, a perplexing situation or a frustrating question. Or say, I want to major in all these great fields, which one do you recommend? It's like, well, you're in the ballpark, dude. You, you're, you've decided STEM or accounting or statistics or actuarial science. And it's like, well, I, I can't tell you what to do. That's your choice. But any one of these, like, there's two stores. There's a store of poisoned food, and that's your liberal arts degrees. And there's the store of really good healthy food, and that's the STEM degrees. And you say, well, what should I eat in the healthy food? Well, I, I don't care what you eat in the healthy store, as long as you didn't go to the poisoned food store. You know, as long as you didn't go to Venezuela, <laughs> you're good. So from there on, it's really up to you. So um, you, you mentioned, um, what was it? Oh, uh, that's right. So I asked you uh, what you were thinking. You're thinking about optical engineering or even backtracking and pursuing actuarial science. Well, I don't know what optical engineering is, but look it up on the Bureau of Labor Statistics and see what they pay. Actuarial science, uh, yeah, that's, that's good, but man, you, you are going to have to backtrack and you're going to have to go and spend a lot of time studying and then pass a bunch of tests. And that's, uh, that's certainly a progressively, progressively credentialized field. Um, but I don't think the, the credentials are increasing at a rate of, say, like the CPA. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's whatever you want to do at this point. Um, I know what I always do is I look at a title of a job you're most likely to get. I go to Bing and I put in that job title. In addition to that, I put BLS and you'll come up with the Bureau of Labor Statistics and they'll give you the median salary. They'll give you a whole bunch of other information too. They'll give you the median salary, what kind of money you can expect to make in that profession. So that, that'll tell you the math of it. But beyond that, it's what you want to do. Uh, I would prefer something that would be a little bit more entrepreneurial. So if you're a tinkerer, I'd be more mechanical engineering or maybe go to auto school or something like that. But yeah, it, it, I can't tell you. I, that's as far as I can take you. I got you to the river. Now it's whether or not you want to drink from it because the river is not poison. Um, what is my opinion about the alarming rate at which STEM educators are leaving for the private sector? I, well, it's, it's expected. I mean, if you're, if you're STEM trained, 
you have a skill that is much highly, much more highly compensated uh, in the private sector than the public sector. The public sector has taxpayers that don't want their money wasted. Uh, so you have a natural hedge against, uh, or a natural limit to that, or at least a force that keeps wages down. On top of it, you know this as well as I do, you guys piss away money on the dumbest fucking shit and the, the, the biggest overhead ever. You guys got sports teams? What the fuck is that? Why is there a why is there a football stadium? I did a thing on my podcast not too long ago down in McKinney, Texas. They built a $63 million football stadium. All right. And then you have all the, you know, how long are we going to teach kids that have known English their entire lives? How long do we teach kids English? What, up until their senior year? And then we'd make them take freshman comp again. They're soft, they're in college. Um, you know, uh, and you you know all this other, FIAD, all this other, and, and not to mention all the regulations that come down from the state and the feds. Um, why why would somebody deal with that? If I know how to program Python or if I know how to build a, a nuclear engine, why am I going to sit here trying to teach some kid physics who gives me lip and I got to deal with all the dumbasses? No, I'm going to go work at NASA. I'm going to go work at Boeing. Uh, I'm going to work with a bunch of adults that are as smart as me, and I'm not going to sit here with a ton of dead weight either from administration or retarded children and shitty parents, not to mention the state and federal regulators. No, we're done. I mean, so that, it's, what do I think about it? I think it's great because inevitably the real world of economics is going to push that's like, hey, you got to compensate these guys for the time and they're not going to tolerate your lip. So it does hurt the kids. It hurts their education because usually you get the people who can't find a job otherwise. Um, becoming your, your STEM teachers or what, what I can't say that about all because I will say this the STEM teachers I did have in high school were, were the better ones obviously but there a lot of them were retired or older so um, you know obviously, a lot of them did work as chemists and things like that so they actually knew what they were talking about uh, but I mean I don't know it is what it is I think it's great because I hate the public schools I just hate them I hope they go down man uh, but yeah that's I think that's just self-respect um, so then, what was the other thing? I was going to tell me... Uh, uh, yes, we got that, we got that. The, oh, here's the other thing. The only other thing I would do is, is do this, dude. Look, here's how you got to be a teacher in today's teaching world. You got to stop giving a fuck. You, you really got to stop giving a fuck about the kids, and more so you got to stop giving a fuck about what's efficient. The public schools are not there. Even the private schools, I say, are not there for the kids. They are there for two groups of people, the teachers and all the supporting staff, and then also the parents who don't want to raise their kids or send them to a private school or homeschool. That's, that's really, that's the first and foremost reason that institution you work for exists. And if you can understand that, like for example, I taught at two community colleges, economics. The first community college I actually gave a shit, held the kids up to standards, blah, 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 blah. And then I end up getting fired or not asked come to come back and teach the next day. And I, and I realized I had a conversation with one of the coworkers there who was a, a sales pitch person. She's like, dude, if these kids can't say no, then I don't care. We're going to take their money. I'm like, whoa. And then, I, then the wool came off and I said, it's a money-making operation. We're not here to educate the kids. We're here to take their fucking $37,000 a year and to give them some bullshit unaccredited diploma. And we're not here to teach them shit. We're just to give them A's and B's, pass them along, give them the fuck out, get the new kids in. That's what the school was. And then when I went to the next community college to teach, that's what I did. And oh, I was the coolest teacher. Oh, everybody loved me. I gave everybody pretty much A's. I made the homework retardedly simple. And we just passed those kids along, great old time, field trips. We did field trips in college because I was the cool teacher. And it was so much more fun. Actually, and the kids did learn a little something because I was able to sneak, because economics is pretty interesting to teach anyway. But, oh, fuck no. They, they, they were doomed from the get-go. They were paying, I think, another 40 grand or whatever to go to this bullshit school. So once you realize that is what the school is there for, to enrich the teachers' unions, to enrich the teachers, to provide employment for otherwise pretty worthless and untalented people. I mean, you I mean, babysitters, over-glorified babysitters. That's what the public schools are for. It is to fleece the taxpayers, pat the little kids to babysit them so their parents don't have to deal with them or raise them themselves, try to give the smart kids some shot, like here's some AP classes. But, but dude, don't kid yourself. You're not, and I know you personally care about the students and you're enraged at the waste and the corruption and the ineptitude, and you could do so much more with the children, and you're desperately wanting to help the children. And then sure enough, your principal comes in and says, hey, you're hurting the pe, you're hitting the widow children's feelings. 
We can't have that. We can't have that. Plus, that guy probably, or gal, I don't know, probably doesn't want those kids getting too smart because they want those kids to go and major in the liberal arts so it keeps the fucking liberal arts system going. So, you don't care. Just give zero fucks. It's great. It's one, once you realize it's, it's like collecting welfare. It really is like that. Like, I used to be so adamantly against welfare. I'm going to be a real man. I'm going to be a Republican. I'm going to be a conservative. It's America. And then when I realized that my generation just kept voting to suck Bill Clinton's dick, and, uh, well, we did wisen up a little bit with George Bush, but then we went right back to sucking uh, Barack Obama's dick. And I'm kind of like, okay, you know what? These are the rules. Fine. I don't give a fuck anymore. You, this is how we're going to play ball? Fine, let's play ball. So, my larger point is, look, teaching is cake. You know that, all right? You know that. You majored in physics. You actually went through a hard discipline. You didn't major in fucking education, right? You teach a real degree. You teach a real field. How hard is it, really? Nine months a year, you show up, you do your little lesson plan, and then it's rinse, repeat, the exact same lesson plan? Oh, maybe you change the questions a little bit. How hard is it? It's a cake job, right? So you could easily go to, I mean, come on, you could go, so you keep your job, this is why I recommend, you keep your job during the daytime. You let go, you let the bullshit, you let the bullshit roll off your back, you don't worry about it, you play ball, okay? Uh, do what you can to help out the intelligent kids, like, yeah, you might want to, you know, <clears throat> maybe more private consultation. But then at night, and certainly during the summer when you have the time, take some classes in a field that you enjoy. I would say something that has good employment prospects uh, outside of, the public sector. You could go work for IBM or Cargill or whatever. But then also, uh, some of them might have an entrepreneurial option to you too. So like maybe programming or something. I mean, it, it, you know, actuarial science certainly, but you can rarely open up your own actuarial shop. You'd have to go work for an insurance company. Um, you can always go back and teach if you want, especially if you don't rock the boat. If you worship that almighty state taxpayer sending you the funds dick, uh, and you don't rock the boat, you'll be a great teacher. You just, you know, shut up. Don't, don't try and help them too much. Ignore the bullshit and the politics. Ignore it. You'll have a much better, easier time during your daytime job. You, they gave you tuition reimbursement, I presume, right? Because teachers are so underpaid, right? You get tuition reimbursement. Um, you got great health care. Just no job is perfect. Just take the easy cake job and run. And then, once you get your master's, all of a sudden you have yourself another option. Don't say, fuck you, teachers. Nah, nah, nah. Let me tell you everything's wrong. You say, you know what? I got an opportunity to work in the private sector. I just, I can't refuse it. I love the children. But boy, the money's too good. And then, and then, then you have options for the rest of your life. You, you find out you hate the private sector or something's wrong. You can always go back to being a teacher. Okay? So that's what I'd recommend. A psychological adjustment, not an attitude adjustment. It, it, an attitude adjustment is like you got you're up in people's faces. This is more like you're up and you, you you care about kids. You gotta get rid of the care. You gotta get rid of the care. Make the public school system work for you. Get as much money as you can. Don't rock the boat. Have an enjoyable seven hours a day teaching the little kitties. Get your degree. Then you got options. And then you know. You didn't like that. Hey, you could go back to be a teacher. And then, oh, it's so easy. I'll blow smoke up their ass. This bullshit about it being easy in the private, or hard in the private sector. I didn't experience that. This is way harder. We teachers work way hard. They're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's all I got. I hope that helps. It gives you a little bit of context. Best of luck to you. Toodles.